Welcome to How to Repair Your Own Legend Now. We appreciate your coming here and getting information from us. And we've just got a little bit of some bookkeeping kinds of things here to go over with you as we start. We're going to cover the four areas of this that, that we feel are really important. We call that assess, correct, make over, and monitor. So we're going to cover those things. We would like you there on the webinar, you can type in questions to us. You can see that right there on your screen right now. Uh, we can't get to all these questions right here. We know that. I'll be monitoring over here as Dr. Mark is doing some other things over there. I'll be monitoring where these questions are and I'll jot down some of these questions and we'll answer some in those four areas. And every time we finish an area, we'll answer a couple questions, maybe one or two questions and then right. we'll move on. But rest assured, I mean, Feel free to put in uh, your questions now because we will yes. answer all of your questions. It's just that the ones we can't get to during the webinar itself, we're going to send you back by email. Right, we'll email you. And if you send us a really awesome question, we may actually create a whole podcast about it uh, separately afterwards because we love to answer questions. But they have all these great tools, and Google yes. Alerts are so easy. Just go to Google uh, into your, your Google account, and you... Uh, if you go to Google, there's a little thing to the right that says more, and if it's not right in there, there's a little drop down that says even more, and you get the full panel of all the, f all the free little wonderful tools that Google has, and one of them is Google Alerts. And really, all you're doing is entering keywords, and uh, you're choosing an interval so you can, ha you can have uh, Google send you an email every single day if you want around a, a keyword, or you can set it for once a week, or you can set it for once a month, and so you choose the interval. And what it's essentially doing is as Google is sending out its little spiders and crawlers and indexing the web, every time it finds the phrase that you have put an alert in, it adds it to a little digest and then once a day if that's what you've set it. So for example, we of course have them set up on our own names so that we monitor it. We right. highly Other recommend keywords. that you do that. Yep. So your name, your business name. Um, and so every day Google tells you whether or not someone is, is chatting about you. Now, you do that for two different reasons. Uh, it's If you think about it, you can say it's the assess side and it's the makeover side at the same time. You want to be monitoring for any potential negative content that has popped up that someone else has posted, and hopefully that's rare or hopefully it never happens to you, but you want to know it as quickly as possible because you can nip a problem in the bud rather than letting it escalate and go viral and, and cause trouble for you. But you also want to be monitoring your own content. That's the main reason that we actually have our own uh, you know, uh, Google Alerts out there is that we want to make sure that our syndication systems are doing their job. So you, know, you put something out there and you watch it get indexed and pops back and you're like, ah, there you go. Google's doing its job. Google found me. They found my latest blog post. They found my latest uh, uh, video that I put out. And it's doing that. And so the, I'll throw in even a third reason because you know, we're talking about creating all this content under Makeover, and a lot of people often say to us, my gosh, how am I going to come up with enough content to write about every oh, yeah. week on my blog post? Well, you set up a Google Alert on the key topics that you want to create content about. Google sends you this nice digest of everything that's been written about that. You read through that, and you put in your expertise on that. We're not talking about just churning out what's already been said. You post a rebuttal, you disagree, you have an argument with an author, you say, no, well, you know, so-and-so wrote such-and-such on their blog. I think in my professional experience, uh, I look at it a little bit differently. Here are my three points that I want to get across here. Your content is being, your research is being done for you by Google. It's terrific. It is. And we want you to go to Google itself and to search for you because the, the Google alerts are primarily, not just totally, but primarily doing things that have happened recently. Right. So new things are going on. Right. So there are things that sometimes will push down on your site and others will get into your site that have been out there for a while and all of a sudden we're not exactly sure why they're there. So you want to actually go put in your information, your keywords, um, your own name, your company's name, your practice's name, whatever it is, right into Google to see what's going on. We want you to do that at least monthly. Right. Okay. Hi, this is Charlie Seymour Jr. And this is Dr. Mark Osmond. And when you search your name online, what do you find? That's right. You, we always recommend that you go to Google, go to the search engine, search yourself, your keywords, do an assessment, look at what you find. 
Is that an accurate reflection of who you are and how you want to appear to people when they look for you? That's right, because we have Create Your Own Legend now, and we're helping people really build up that legend about themselves online so that when people search for them, they really see the side of them that they want. And it's three to ten pages deep of information about you that you control. But Charlie, but what happens when you do that assessment? You're in those first three pages and you find either it's not a good reflection of you or someone has posted negative reviews about you or negative information about you or inaccurate information. What are right. you supposed to do? People exactly. keep asking us that. People keep coming to us about that. So we're going to cover that in this webinar. I'm really thrilled with the outline that we've come up with for this webinar. So on Tuesday, we want you to join us on this webinar. See what it is to create that legend about yourself. Grow that personal side of you that other people can see. But when there's a problem, you need to be able to take care of that. And that's what we're going to be able to help you with on this webinar. That's right. So just click the link here. Go to the registration page. We're going to give you our four-part system for how you're going to repair going to your own to you. legend. And you can choose on the registration form what time on Tuesday is going to work best for you. We're going to do this a couple of times on Tuesday. Right. So click that link. Go sign up for this webinar and learn how to create your own legend. If there's a problem, how to repair your own legend now. Join us on the webinar.